we have to start thinking of how the end of a car could be the beginning of the second car. What is BMW's overall vision for incorporating hydrogen technology into its lineup? So we are a strong believer of power of choice. At the end, the customer should have the choice for his or own drivetrain. We offer ICE units, basically petrol cars. We offer battery electric vehicles. We we'll offer plug-in hybrids. And very soon, we are offering also hydrogen vehicles. So as we speak, we are piloting five of our iX5 hydrogen vehicles here in the region, and they are part of our roadmap towards COP28. And we strongly believe that in a decade to come, this will be a valid alternate drivetrain for our customers to use. Is the Middle East market ready for hydrogen-powered vehicles? Is there adequate infrastructure? So we do believe that uh, Middle East is the right testbed to utilize a test pilot as we do with the iX5 hydrogens. We are pioneering this from a BMW perspective here in the region. Um, the region is supplying hydrogens to other parts of the world as a, as a fuel, or as, a, as an energy source. And we do believe that from a demand side, at some point of time, also customers would like to drive hydrogen vehicles. And this is what we're doing now as well here. In terms of infrastructures, that has to be uh, seen and has to be built yet. Yeah? But we love to be at the forefront of the technology and we love to pioneer, pioneer in, this, in this technology here in the region. Is hydrogen energy the future of sustainable transportation? We do believe as an emission-free drivetrain, it will certainly play a major, major role in the near future for reducing the carbon footprint. What's one change the auto industry can make to ensure the growth is sustainable? One thing that we strongly believe is sustainability, and within this sustainability is the um, circular economy. So we have to start thinking of how the end of a car could be the beginning of the second car. So it means that you know, the rare earth materials, the materials that we source for producing the first car can be recycled to be utilized for the second car. And this is something that, that we are looking into it. And if we try to establish a circular environment around it, I think we can really, through the recycling process, have a sustainable but continuous way of, um, of a sustainability aspect within, within the production and the usage of vehicles. How is BMW's design philosophy evolving? How do you infuse creativity in business? So in terms of design philosophy, as I spoke before about circular environment, it needs a specific and a different design, let's say, attitude. You have to start with, um, with establishing different materials, monochromic materials, materials that are not blend materials that are easy to recycle. You have to um, uh, reduce decorative elements. Um, so basically you just try to design elements that are functional, but yet look premium and also are required by the customer. So this, is, this means actually a, a complete different design philosophy that you need um, before even producing the car that you engineer and design it in a way that is being recycled over and over again. For your second question, creativity in business, I think the first and foremost attribution towards it is diversity. If you have a diverse team, people coming from all over the world with different experiences and different, um, uh, let's say, backgrounds, cultural backgrounds, I think that in, in itself is a nurturing place for diversity. And we encourage that um, here in the Middle East, but all over the world for BMW employees as well. What is the impact of AI and big data on the luxury car market? So AI and big data seem to be buzzwords right now all over the world. But for us, it has been an integral part of our business for a long time. So we have over 400 applications within the organization that uses AI to predict certain outcomes. Big data is very key because the sheer information of data that we receive uh, needs to be segmented, needs to be classified, and then also managed and measured properly. And uh, we do that for our marketing activities. We do that for our design uh, philosophy, and we certainly do that also to, uh, to be more sustainable in the future.